Hi everybody, Golden Era Bookham here. <clears throat> I thought I'd share today a, a new collection of things that have arrived in the mail. Uh, some are quite historic, others um, just new collections to my pieces. But um, yeah, essentially what we're seeing here is a collection of books written by Ken Sprague. Um, a very unique collection of photos taken from the 1970 Mr. World competition. These photos are from George Greenwood and also a home gym expander set uh, kind of a spring set that you would have seen in the Weeder magazines in the York magazines basically it's a home cable expander gym which I will talk about in greater detail as well um, let's start with the Ken Sprague books these are all signed actually by Ken and I'll show you what I mean uh, he actually signed these, and in some of these, he's actually written uh, a couple of kind of nice little messages. This, by, by the way, is his very first book, the Gold's Gym Weight Training Book. Um, I have to admit, I bought this uh, book, all of these actually, on Amazon, and um, had them sent to Ken for him to autograph for me, seeing that we've been talking a lot re uh, regularly and recently. And I was very disappointed, unfortunately, that this particular cover was not as advertised with Ken actually doing exercises on the cover. Instead, it's got a couple of uh, random people. I'm not sure who they are. Still wearing rather unique gold gym, um, gym, uh, gym wear. Um, yeah, but it was rather disappointing that Ken was actually not on the cover as advertised on the Amazon website. And regardless, um, as you can see, um, he wrote here, my first Gold's Gym book. Uh, good luck, Carlos. So he wrote quite a few um, nice little messages in these. And um, believe it or not, he wrote many, many books. This is something that most people don't know about Ken Sprague, is that he was actually um, a, um, an author, right? Your friend Ken Sprague, etc. So, yeah, he, he's, uh, he's authored many books, I think seven or eight in total. And you can actually find them. They're, they're very unique books. They go through uh, Gold's Gym uh, training methods, um, as well as weight and, and strength training for kids, which he co-wrote with his with his actual son, who's pictured there. So yeah, he's a very accomplished author, actually, and uh, wrote many, many books. Moving on, we've got here, as I mentioned, a great collection, a unique collection of images taken by George Greenwood in the 1970 Mr. World competition. Uh, what makes these particularly special is that this is the competition in which, if you've seen the Arnold series, the Arnold series starts off actually with a look at this particular competition where Arnold first defeated Sergio Oliva before, I think it was two weeks or something before the Mr. Olympia, his first Mr. Olympia win. Uh, Arnold would, of course, lose to Sergio in the 1969 Mr. Olympia, but would defeat him in the uh, Mr. World in 1970 and then take the 1970 Mr. Olympia from Sergio. And here we have some, I don't know, unfortunately have the full collection of these photos. Um, the actual Arnold ones were sold and others as well. It's uh, rather unfortunate. So the Arnold photos were actually um, already sold. I ended up with some, uh, also the ones of Dave Draper, unfortunately. Here is a, a small shot of Draper versus Sergio. And uh, these are really large, beautiful photos. Here we have of Boya Co, who was also in the competition, uh, of Sergio doing the most muscular. It's, this is a wonderful shot. I mean, these are beautiful and, and just ready to be framed. The clarity is amazing. It's really wonderful photos. Here's another one of Sergio. And actually, if you watch the Arnold series, there's a man taking photos at the very beginning, and I believe that's George Greenwood taking these particular photos. So this this collection actually has some kind of history uh, behind it. So that's uh, Boyako as well. And another great shot of Sergio uh, in the victory pose from behind. So some really nice photos here of the 1970 Mr. World competition. Now along with those uh, photos and books, 
we've got here a rather unusual complete almost I would say complete actually expander home gym from I'm assuming from the 50s or 60s maybe even earlier um, many people are now being have become aware I would say of the chest expander which is right here and I'm actually now by the way selling these through my website you can check it out um, in custom made equipment under shop and uh, I'm actually selling Robert Barabans expanders which I will be covering on this channel but um, here we have uh, a chest expander with original wooden handles probably from the 50s I would say and um, what most expander home gyms would come with is not just the chest expander itself but they would usually come with either some kind of a barbell uh, attachment with rings that would allow you to do I think things like squats uh, deadlifts and shoulder presses and other kind of um, more compound exercises but this in particular many people might be thinking well how do you use this particular piece of equipment here that came with the expander I mean obviously the the grippers are very um, obvious how you, you would use them you would obviously do forearm gripping exercises like so of course these are super easy you can just rip these out all day long right they're, they're not difficult at all um, and unfortunately they, they're not increasing in any kind of grade or anything but what's this special contraption? well I'll tell you what that is that's actually um, where you would something you would actually stand on like so right let me fix that a bit so you would actually stand on this platform here with your feet right separated by this uh, half ring loop here and you would grasp this part of the cable gym home gym set with your hands and therefore perform things like curls you could squat front squat with the weight or I guess even back squat you could press it and perform shoulder presses uh, you could do a whole bunch of different exercises and this is rather unique in in that back then chest expanders and grippers were sold as a home gym that, al that also included this kind of a an apparatus where you would have a platform and usually a barbell or some kind of a handle on top that would allow you to do the presses the deadlifts the squats etc the curls so um, to find this complete home gym set was rather unique and I thought I would uh, invest in it and yeah it's pretty interesting isn't it to, to see what uh, people trained with back then so yeah that's what I wanted to show today what was in the mail the home gym the cable home gym the photos from um, the 1970 Mr. World competition as well as the autograph books by Ken Sprague so just put everything back as it was and uh, if you are interested in Ken Sprague's books I would highly recommend you visit eBay or Amazon where you'll find these secondhand relatively cheap too unfortunately the George Greenwood photos are unique in that uh, you won't find them I, I actually don't own as I said all of them uh, the Arnold ones and the Draper ones belong to a couple of friends of mine who actually bought these before I had the chance to even raise my hand for them so yeah um, hope you've enjoyed the video if you have please give the video a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't done so yet leave me a comment and thanks for watching if you want to see more videos like this let me know I know a lot of collectors like seeing these videos so um, I occasionally still put them out anyway hope you've enjoyed the video this is the golden era book I'm saying bye for now head to www.goldenerabookum.com for the biggest range of classic old school bodybuilding books as ebooks e-magazines such as Iron Man and Reg Park Journal high quality bodybuilding posters of the golden era stars merchandise and classic gym wear featuring Steve Reeves, Marvin Eder, John Grimmick, Reg Park and many other golden era stars. For those wishing to build a classic physique, lose fat and build muscle, online training is also available. Collectibles such as rare autographed photos from the golden era stars are also available and to collaborate please get in touch. As a natural bodybuilder it is imperative to know your own testosterone levels 
as they are a reflection of the anabolic environment created by your diet and training. I would highly recommend using the male hormone test kit from Let's Get Checked and make sure you use my code GOLDEN30 for a 30% discount. Again, the advantage of checking yourself regularly is that you will know how well your body is anabolically primed to put on the much desired muscle you are working for. Not all of us have the time to go to a gym or the opportunity to have a coach to teach us one-on-one, -on -one, but with the Future Fitness app, it's like having a personal trainer in your living room. From February 11th onwards, you can try the Future Fitness app for only $19 for the first month. Think of what you can accomplish during that first month. So go on and hit my link at tryfuture.co slash GEB to get started. Now, if you're interested in learning more about Vince Deronda's approach to bodybuilding, his principles, and all these tips of wisdom that he has. But to be honest, these three books, I believe, which I call the classic physique bundle, are the best books that Vince ever came out with. And they, of course, are the Wild Physique, the Master Series, and the Pro Series. Have a look at it this way. The Wild Physique, I believe, is like the ABCs of Vince Gironda's principles to bodybuilding. He teaches you the exercises and his principles, but how do you put them together? Well, the master series is 14 month program of using all of these principles, all of the diets that Vince came out with, all of the exercises. And of course the pro series was a book that he came out with later on, specially targeted for uh, getting into competition. It's just these, these three books, as I call it, the classic physique bundle, uh, Vince's best work, and available, of course, at www.goldenerabookum.com.